Good morning, I'm Al Sharpton. Just over two weeks from the election, Donald Trump seems to have a new target, democracy. In the days to come, you can expect Trump to dig in deeper, hinting he may accept the results of the election or he may not. I will totally accept the results of this great and historic presidential election if I win. I would also reserve my right to contest or file a legal challenge in the case of a questionable result. Okay. Here's how NBC's focus group reacted in real time to Trump's initial comment on this at the debate. Just watch the dial. Do you make the same commitment that you will absolutely, sir, that you will absolutely accept the result of this election? I will look at it at the time. I'm not looking at anything now. I'll look at it at the time. What I've seen, what I've seen is so bad. That has earned some powerful rebukes from many Americans, including President and Mrs. Obama. When you try to sow the seeds of doubt in people's minds about the legitimacy of our elections, that undermines our democracy. Then you're doing the work of our adversaries for them. You do not keep American democracy in suspense. Because look, too many people have marched and protested and fought and died for this democracy. The Washington Post says Trump is now running a grievance campaign, not designed to win, but to appeal to his base. 45% of Republican voters say they may not accept the election outcome if their candidate loses. Nearly half of the party. And it's something we also see at Trump rallies. If she wins, will you accept the outcome? Sure won't. No. If she wins, will you personally accept the outcome of the election? No. If Hillary Clinton wins, will you accept the outcome? Hell no. 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 Hell no. no. Those feelings have been fueled by the rhetoric from the candidate himself. Remember, we're competing in a rigged election. This is a rigged election, folks, okay? It's this tremendous voter fraud. People that have died 10 years ago are still voting. Illegal immigrants are voting. Millions of people that are registered to vote <clears throat> that shouldn't be registered to vote. Look, if nothing else, people are going to be watching on November 8th. People are going to be watching? For what? Widespread voter fraud is a myth. There is just a um, one in 32 million chance that someone committed voter fraud over the last 14 years. To put that in perspective, you're more likely to be struck by lightning. You're also more likely to be attacked by a shark. You've even been more likely to have actually been elected president of the United States than you are to find a case of voter fraud. Joining me now is Boris Epstein, Trump campaign senior advisor. Thank you for being here. Oh, of course. Thanks for having me. Well, but Boris, just, just how big would Clinton's win have to be for Trump to admit it's, quote, not questionable? It's not about the size of, or any difference in the election, and Donald Trump is going to win. So it's not about Hillary Clinton's, uh, you know, supposed win. That's not going to happen. The issue here, and we should be agreeing on this, is that we want for the election to have integrity, to be proper, and then to be verified and certified, and then there won't be any issues. No, well, we, we certainly agree with that. But, but when you raise issues like voter fraud mm -hmm. that have not been verified even by the Bush Justice Department, when you have people going out to uh, poll watch who said to reporters they're there to profile people, one guy said to racially profile, you're not talking oh. now about integrity. I could find a guy who says a lot of things, right? I mean, it's not just, about finding a guy. These are your guys. These are your poll watchers. These, this is your candidate it's talking about, about voter fraud that doesn't exist. Our guys, let's talk about voter fraud. I was on the McCain campaign in All right. 2008. And on that campaign, we witnessed some of the following things. In Nevada, they had the whole Dallas Cowboys 
starting lineup registered to vote. In Ohio, we had people being busted from Did other states. Did you turn states. it in? Of course we turned it in. And, and, and were they found to be credible? Yes. Then why do the Justice Department, even at that time, report that voter fraud is 0 0.0003? Well, it also has to, has to do with the fact, what do you count as voter fraud? Voter fraud is the following If things. somebody was registering people that was the right. cowboy that's team, voter fraud. That's voter fraud. That's, I'm, I'm not sure we get those statistics from, but here's what I'll tell you. That happened in Nevada. ACORN was uh, conducting widespread widespread voter fraud. In Ohio, you had busing from Illinois to Ohio where you could register and vote on the same day. In Colorado, we now know there were dead people but voting. But why does the data not show this? I mean, we, we talked about ACON. Who in ACON went to jail for voter fraud? Name one. It's, the fact but that it's voted. all, but well, you say on. verifiable. Well, verify it. The fact that ACORN didn't go to jail, somebody at ACORN didn't go but to jail. But voter fraud means is that, a crime. Means that the Obama Department of Justice just didn't prosecute. Voter fraud is a crime. I agree with you. I know what more states, jail cra then. states can prosecute well, it's a federal, voter fraud. It's a federal crime. But, but no, crime. State, people in New York State have gone to jail for messing with elections. Great. And so we should have had more of them go to jail. C come on. In come on. It's bogus bars. In Pennsylvania, we had over 700 Will instances Trump of voter fraud. Will Trump accept the outcome of the election? He will win the election. And as long if he doesn't as win, no, will he accept as long the outcome as, of the election? Listen, as long as there's no instances that are similar to the Clintons paying for violence at Trump rallies, as long as there's no instances of rigging the, the election. The Clintons paying for violence at Trump rallies. We now know, right, from Project Veritas, we know. Well, we know that, that, that Clinton, that's what someone alleged with WikiLeaks. No, no, no. That happened from the Veritas video from the gentleman who's been to the White House over 340 times part of the Democrat machine has been now fired, and he was inciting violence. Oh, you're talking about Trump that rallies. heavily edited video. Fine. <laughs> we can, Here's what I'm that's saying. a good distraction what, no, no, to you, use your candidate's point. That's a good pivot. Will he accept the outcome of the election? He's been very clear. As long as the election... As long as he wins. Is, that was clear. He said as long as the election is proper, certified, and verified... According to him. Of course. No, sort of, he's not, he's but do you not, he's not the one certifying. I know how certification works. Bars, I understand you've got to represent him, but do you understand what it does to kids that, that watch uh, this? Do you understand when we look like around the country and around the world, when you have a candidate saying, I'll accept the outcome if I like it? You're I mean, what, we, we're going against everything the country's supposed to stand for. To be fair, Reverend, you are taking the words out of context. And he, he said, literally, I think, within a, either the next sentence or within a few sentences, he said, of course, I'll accept it as long as everything is proper. And proper doesn't but mean him winning. But he defines what's proper, though. Proper means verified but that's and not democracy. through secretaries of state of each state, and that there's no widespread voter fraud, which we have seen to a degree The secretaries of state said there were no widespread voter fraud. That how could it's they not know? Being the election, election day hasn't happened. No, no, no. Yet. I'm talking about in the past. These are the same Secretary of State. What I'm saying, well, a lot of my actions. But you're going to believe them if he says what Trump I, wins, but you don't believe him when he says no voter truth. fraud. Here's what I'm saying. You got in, a tough job, In Barbara. 08 and in 12, there was voter fraud. It was not widespread, but it was voter fraud in the fallen states. In Nevada, it was not in widespread. Pennsylvania, so then why is in your, North Carolina. Then why is your candidate saying millions of people voted? For 10 years, people are he's dead. Saying, That's pretty widespread. He's saying millions of people who shouldn't be registered are, and that's just a fact. There's a lot Boris, of local register in two states. Gotta go. Can't be registered. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You only that's have all, three more weeks all, to try to keep the voters, balls in the air. Stuff. Ba right. uh, Boris Epstein. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you brother. for your time this morning. Not, not